Our next guest is Paul Ryan, making his debut on The Last Word. No, not that Paul Ryan. This is the Paul Ryan who wants an investigation of the president and the porn star, the Paul Ryan of Common Cause. Common Cause has filed a pair of complaints today alleging that the $130,000 payment reportedly made to an adult film actress who claims to have had an affair with President Trump may have violated campaign finance laws. In submissions to the Justice Department and the Federal Election Commission, Common Cause says the payment to Stormy Daniels, which the Wall Street Journal reports occurred about a month before the election, amounted to an in-kind donation to Donald Trump's presidential campaign. Common Cause says the payment should have been publicly disclosed in official reports. Stormy Daniels told In Touch magazine in 2011 that she had an affair with Donald Trump in 2006. The magazine published her full interview last week only after the Wall Street Journal report. The Wall Street Journal says that Trump lawyer Michael Cohen established an LLC to pay Stormy Daniels, which is not her real name, in return for her agreeing to not publicly discuss the alleged encounter. An attorney for Common Cause, Paul S. Ryan, said the payment to Stormy Daniels appeared to be hush money. Joining us now is Paul S. Ryan, Vice President for Policy and Litigation for Common Cause. Also back with us is David Frum. And uh, Paul Ryan, what does the S stand for? Seamus, oh, Paul Seamus Ryan. Then you're Paul Seamus Ryan on this show, my friend. Uh, very glad to have you here. Uh, on this money, uh, the, the $130,000, does it matter whether that money came from Donald Trump himself uh, or from someone else? It matters, but it doesn't change the fact that there seems to be an underlying campaign finance reporting violation. If the money came from Donald Trump himself, that's the end of the line. All we're talking about are disclosure or reporting violations. If, however, the money came from the Trump organization or someone else, we might be tacking on a violation of an illegal corporate contribution to the campaign or an illegal excessively large contribution if the money came from an individual, because individuals can only give 2700 bucks to a federal candidate. Corporations can't give any money at all. And David, from uh, this is one of the issues uh, that uh that, as I recall, uh, w w was a factor in the John Edwards investigation right. about uh, hush money being paid on his behalf during a presidential campaign in order to advance his candidacy, because hush money on these kinds of stories during this, a presidential campaign this does look a lot is like designed Edwards, to help your campaign. Uh, the, Go the ahead, John David. Edwards logic. And you'll remember that case was thrown out by a jury. John Edwards was uh, acquitted. Um, and the prosecution was pretty widely derided at the time as political. In fact, the prosecutor who brought the case in 2012 is now the Republican congressman for the second district in North Carolina. And it was widely thought the political ambition was what led him to bring the case. And that was why it got so much criticism. And uh, Paul, the, uh, the, the to, to go back over the what you're asking for, uh, you're asking the FEC to investigate uh, this this contribution or whether it was a contribution uh, they are they have been very slow about this kind of thing they can they can take <clears throat> years even to get, get, look into this stuff they sure have been slow and I'd use the word dysfunctional that's yeah. one of the reasons we sent this complaint to the Department of Justice as well both agencies the DOJ and the FEC they share authority to enforce our federal campaign finance laws they both have a job to do we're asking them both to do it uh, and David, uh, Stormy Daniels, uh, whose real name is being protected here on this show because who wants to live as, uh, for the rest of her life as the person who uh, has this story with Donald Trump? Uh, she was in South Carolina, uh, apparently entertaining Trump voters this weekend at a club in South Carolina uh, in Greenville, which voted overwhelmingly for uh, Donald Trump. Uh, and this is the kind of thing that trails the Trump presidency these days. The, the piece of the story that, can, that baffles me is Vice President Pence from Jerusalem insist, uh, insisting that these allegations are, are baseless. Um, how would he know? And why does he keep repeating these things so confidently without, without that knowledge? Um, he keeps being led into positions where um, he says false things. I guess he's a very good Christian because he keeps forgiving the people who put him in that position. Paul Ryan and David Frum, thank you both for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you.